We're backstage. Oh. I actually agree with that. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, what the hell, MC? What the hell? Come on. Oh, wait. Oh, wait a minute! Is that, what the hell, MC? It's just nailing Sam Weston with that chair. What the hell is this about? Oh, my God. No way. No! Damn Star Twilight! Oh damn! Oh, my God, fan! I cannot believe that! I'm just the El Diablo making his way to the ring here, but it was despicable. That, that low life. Hey, hey, Shadow MC! I hope you're paying attention here. I thought after Thursday Night Mayhem. And when you almost single-handedly beat Supremacy in that back, I thought, and I thought after the way hey, your actions over the last few weeks, I thought you had started to at least change a little bit. I thought I could start respecting you. Damn! I can understand you're pissed off about what happened. I would be too. But you don't take it out of Sam Weston like that. This is bull crap. The man was just trying to do his job. I mean, you beat on him with a chair and leveled him with an M Star Twilight. That's just sickening. Oh my God. Right. Right. That was just a totally despicable thing you just did. Oh my God. Scorpion, the unlimited champion, on his way out to the ring, and this is not a title match. But I can't believe this, guys. I thought I could actually start respecting the, the instant classic a little. Oh, I mean, the way he was fighting for his little sis, Amanda, after things got personal between him and the scare on his movie. And I, I believe it when he said he got screwed by that son of a bitch at Thursday Night Man, but now he's calling out the board of directors, he's calling out the babes of business and referring to them to Robin Corley, and, and he attacks Sam Weston in the back. That's just, that's just cool. That's just totally, that's just totally a lack of class on the part of the U.S. champion. And then he has the nerve as the bell rings, to say that he's not defending the belt a dynasty. Man, who does he think he is? I don't, I don't remember what... Ah, oh, boot there by El Diablo, but I don't remember him writing in his contract with Aftershock that he calls his own shot. My God, I'm... We understand Sam West and... And, and we understand... We understand he was... Uh, uh, he was taken out of the building, building to a medical facility. He wasn't roughed up too bad. I think it's just an examination, but most likely Sam Weston will not be conducting interviews for the rest of the night. Although, hopefully he'll be good to go by overdrive. Ah! A springboard we just saw from Scorpion. But then again, getting messed up like... Like that with an M Star Twilight after a few chair shots. Man. I thought I actually was beginning to respect Shadow MC a little bit. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so called. Oh, the so called instant classic. Hey. He just. Whatever respect I might have gained for him has just been flushed right down the crapper. I cannot believe that. And then he says, people tonight are going to bleed. Well, he's scheduled for action against Ricky Slater. Although, if I were Ricky Slater, I might want to think about getting the hell out of the building. Because, <clears throat> remember the last time Shadow MC he blew his gasket? Brian Mooney was the one who paid for it. 
I mean, he almost got put out. He almost got put out by MC. And if not for the intervention of Nikki Angel, Shadow MC's girlfriend, Brian Mooney probably, probably would have been put out. And he probably, he would not be feeling too good about himself. And Scorpion, and back suplex there on El Diablo. And man, I, I am just so disgusted with MC right now. It's just despicable. Oh. And I hope somebody in management does something about, about him. 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 Mostly just... I mean... I'm sorry, guys. I'm at a loss for words. I'm just so disgusted with his actions. And I can't really say I blame him for being upset with getting screwed like that by Hoobie, but... When you're taking it out on everyone else, else it's just bullcrap. Oh, crossbody there by Scorpion, and I apologize for flipping out like that and not focusing on this matchup. But what the hell? I thought I could actually respect the U.S. champion a little bit. I don't know if that was just a short temper. And believe me, he does have quite a short fuse. Or, or if he just legitimately is an asshole. And man, and of course, I guess I shouldn't have been too surprised. After all, he refused to give Brandon Moore a shot at that U.S. title a few weeks ago. And, and Brandon Moore deserves it more than anyone. I mean, Brandon Moore, he's been becoming the franchise of Aftershock. Big clothes on there by El Diablo. And I mean, I don't know if Shadow MC is just unwilling to wrestle Brandon Moore or if he legitimately feels he's above Brandon Moore. I mean, sheesh. Ah, another clothes on there by El Diablo. Man, El Diablo, you know, he'd love to get back in contention for that unlimited title. And Scorpion went back drop off the top rope. But yeah, there, and there's another way of looking. And, uh, botch! Scorpion botched that. <laughs> and, and, and there's another way of looking at things, though. Nikki Angel... You have to wonder what the deal is with her. We we know why she's in BYU now. <coughs> Although she didn't show up at Thursday Night Mayhem. And, and although I have to wonder if she'll show up here tonight. Cause that just seems to be her deal. I mean when Shadow MC gets royally pissed, Nikki Angel makes her presence felt. And, and and El Diablo. <coughs> oh wait a minute, El Diablo gonna set up Scorpion here. Oh man, and Diablo bomb, Diablo bomb. He just crushed him. One, El Diablo, two, there's the cover, three. and it's over. El Diablo, impressive victory here over the unlimited champion. Scorpion here on Aftershock. And you can tell he's working his way back up into the tank. He wants to be that champion again. And El Diablo with a very big win here tonight. A good showing here.